Hey guys, Mac OS X Expert here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to secure any of your files with an encryption and make the folder invisible, which means if any of your friends do find the folder, they can't guess the password for it. So what you're going to want to do is find all the stuff that you want to encrypt. I've got these um, four photos here that I want to encrypt and make invisible so no one else can find it. So what I'm going to want to do, this can be anything, it doesn't have to be photos, it can be files and all that, and it's really secure, you can't trace it with Spotlight or anything like that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is either right click on your desktop and click new folder or go file, new folder. You're going to want to make a new folder, name it whatever you want, for example, top secret stuff. And I'm going to make that label red. So then what you're going to want to do is put all your stuff that you want to encrypt and make invisible in that folder. Once you put that in the folder, as you can see it's here, and that's all in, in there. So top secret stuff can be traced there. So there's the folder there, top secret stuff with all that stuff in there. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open an application called Disk Utility that's inbuilt to your computer. Now you can either go to Spotlight or Utilities folder. I'm going to be using Spotlight. Type in Disk and that should come up with a little disk utility thing here and top hint as that little drive. So you click on that, it will open up a window like this. And what you're going to want to do from here is click File, New, Disk Image from Folder. Then you're going to want to select that folder that we made earlier, the top secret stuff labeled red from my desktop. So if you click that, you click Image. Now what we're going to want to do is just name that whatever, top secret maybe, instead of making it top secret stuff, or you can keep it as it is. Now, what we want the image format to be is read slash write. Now, that means that you can edit the files in there. If you click read only, which means that means it can only be read only. It can't be copied or it can't be edited. So, we want read slash write so you can edit it. And we also want encryption to be 128-bit, the recommended one. You can also make it more secure, but I don't recommend it because it does make your computer slow. That's only if you own like a million-dollar business or something. Okay, so now that we've named that top secret and we've saved it to our desktop, so we press save and now will ask us to put a password in. I'm just now you have to make sure that this is not ticked because if that's remembered password to keychains, that's not what we want. That means that the password's saved and it will remember if, if you do get logged in. So you want to untick that. So now make any password you want. You can go to password generator and generate the longest password that you want, the most secure. So you just have to remember it. So I'm just today, I'm just in this tutorial, I'm just going to make mine A. B, C, 1, 2, 3. Make sure you mix numbers and letters in there and capitals and lowercase to make it more secure. A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. Just repeat that and verify it and press OK. Now, depending on what you've got in your folder, which will make it go slower or faster. So, because I only had a couple of photos in there, it's really fast. So, now once we've done that, what you're going to want to do is you can either go disk utility and quit or you can just go command quit. So now that that's done, as you can see, there is a .dmg file on here that called Top Secret, which is has all the stuff in there. So as you can see, you can see Top Secret stuff is right here. So what we're going to want to do with that is we're going to want to delete it. So delete the original folder that it came from. And to securely delete that, click Finder and Secure Empty, empty Trash, which means it can't be backed up. Let that delete, which means it can't be backed up, so that's more secure. Now that that's deleted, as you, if you go to Finder, you can't find top secret stuff anywhere. It's all gone. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to click on topsecret.dmg and we'll ask for that password that we made. Make sure that's not ticked. So put in that password that we made, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, press OK. Now it will open up like a little USB. If you click on that, what do you know? You've got all your files and they can you can edit it, you can copy it back to your computer and it's all secure. And as you can see, top secret stuff has been found because I've done that. Now if you want to, after putting stuff on there, taking it off, if you want to make it secure again, right click on it and press eject. And that will eject it which means it's not findable unless you unlock that again. Now I'm going to make be showing you how to make it even secure which means make it invisible. Which means even if someone, if you make it invisible it makes it safer because if someone finds this folder, they click on it and they say, oh his password's ABC123, I know that. So you don't want to do that. Make sure you don't make it the same password as your computer password to make it even more secure. So to make it invisible, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to right-click on it 
and click get info or go to finder file get info now all we're going to want to do is go to name and extension is want to highlight that delete and then make it called space or space space whatever amount of space you want press enter now it will uh, ask are you sure you want to remove the extension dot dmg press remove because that won't change a thing now as you can see the file, the name is gone and it's not clickable. Well, it is clickable, but after I finish, it won't be. Now to make that um, file invisible, as you can see the disk, what you're going to want to do is click Shift Command 4 and you want to, that may activate screenshot. Now you want to want to um, click and drag a little bit of your screen and let go. That will save an image to your screen. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open that and you want to go to that and show slide bar. So now that that's shown, you want to go to select instant alpha. Now you want to select the whole page. You want to delete the whole thing so it's black or well, gray. Then what you want to do is um, going to go to select rectangular section and get that and go edit copy. Now we can quit preview now that we've copied that blank yeah. screen. Then after doing that, you want to go to your disk image, right click on it and click get info but before we do that you want to put it somewhere for example so I remember it is I'm gonna put it in the middle of the Apple before I because once I've changed the picture you can't drag it anywhere else until you've changed the picture back to a, a clickable icon so now that that's in the middle of the Apple I remember where it is so now now we're in get info if you want to click on the di icon at the top left that should go blue you want to go click get info I mean edit and then paste and that will make it an invisible so now if you close that, as you can see, the folder is invisible. You can't click on it, no matter how much you try. The only way of getting it is um, highlighting it like this. As you can see, it's there, but you can't just click on it. You have to highlight it and click Command-O, which means Command-Open. Put in that password. Make sure remember password and my keychains didn't select. So now if I put in my password, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, Enter. And then it opens up my disk, and then I've got all my files. And if I right click, eject, they're back to secure password. So yeah, and also don't forget you can't recover this password. So if you do forget it, it is gone for good. Uh, you've been watching the Mac OS X Expert. If you want to know how to do a certain trick or hack, do leave it in the comment section below. And yeah, thanks for watching my video guys and I will see you next week. Goodbye.